Thank you very much, John, and uh, thank you for inviting me here today. Delighted uh, to be here. Um, as uh, John mentioned earlier, I'm the Evidence and Evaluation Lead for the Violence Reduction Network in Leicester, Leicester and Rutland, which was one of the 18 units set up in 2019 by the Home Office to tackle serious violence. Um, and for me, I would say that Evidence and evaluation is at the heart of what we do as violence reduction networks. To give ourselves the best possible chance of preventing violence, we conduct, we commission research so that we can gain a better understanding about the local problem and the causes of violence, which involves speaking directly to those who are most acutely affected by violence, um, in, including young people and community members. And we use these voices and the evidence base to implement interventions that are designed to tackle those like local drivers. But it doesn't stop there. We then evaluate them because we need to know if the interventions that we're funding locally are actually reaching the right young people are they achieving the, the positive outcomes that we would expect? And if we find from our evaluations that, we, that they are, then what we do is look at how we can share those findings, both locally and nationally. We also look at whether we can scale those interventions up if they're proven to be successful, because we want to reach as many young people as possible. But implementing evidence-based uh, services and interventions can be challenging, um, not just for violence reduction units, but for the partners that we work with, whether that be police forces, local authorities, um, community safety partnerships, voluntary and community groups. And that's because, as it's already been alluded to, it is difficult and it is time consuming um, to find out detailed information about different interventions, the content of them, the structure, the delivery methods. It can be difficult and time consuming to gain access to evidence if it's in those academic publications. And if you do manage to gain access to them, then it can be difficult to make sense of them and to know how you can take that evidence and those findings to implement a specific intervention locally. And this for me is why the, the EF toolkit is so important, important because it bridges that gap between research and evaluation findings and the real world of commissioning and delivering uh, interventions. So I think it's going to make a huge difference for violence reduction units and essentially anyone who is involved in designing, delivering or commissioning services and interventions focused on crime and violence involving young people. And that's because it brings together that best available evidence, making it so much easier to use and to find that evidence so that it can inform our local decision making. Um, I think as even from the brief demonstration earlier by Pete, you can see it does, it provides that clear and accessible information that we all need um, to be able to find out about different interventions, whether that's mentoring, focused deterrence, cognitive behavioural therapy. And it, it shows us what the evidence says about whether the, these approaches are effective, but also what further research is needed. And that is really important because, yes, we will definitely use the toolkit to ensure that we're making the best decisions. But actually, I'm hoping that it will also encourage and help to embed this culture of testing, of innovation, of actually contributing that evidence base, because there's a clear steer of how VRUs and others can do that. So, um, yep, the YEF team and others can rest assured that I'll, I'll be promoting it and using it. Um, we'll be encouraging all of our organisations and professionals that we work with to, to use the toolkit because I think the, the most important part is that section where it says how can it be implemented well, because it's that that gives us the best possible chance of achieving positive outcomes for young people uh, and preventing violence. So thank you.